Welcome back, everybody. Well, with the moisture we got this year, everything, of course, is in bloom and so beautiful to walk around Denver right now. But if you're feeling a little sneezier than normal, you are not alone. Here's Dr. Coley. Well, it's allergy season, but I feel like a lot of people have been getting sick lately, too, and that's why we have Dr. Coley here today. Everybody is getting sick. My goodness, I feel like every time I talk to someone, they, they have, have something. Yeah. Yes, it yeah. seems to be going around. But how do we tell Dr. Coley if it's a cold versus allergy? Yeah, you know, those masks have come off, so we are seeing a lot more infections than we did this time last year. And it's interesting because an allergy is basically the immune system sort of overreacting to something benign, which is like usually pollen in the air depending on what your allergies are sure. so a lot of the symptoms can look the same as the immune system reacting to a virus or a bacteria okay. but there are some key differences Danny and that's what I want you to pay attention to so allergies generally tend to be sort of neck up okay meaning we kind of have nose and maybe scratchy throat you know runny eyes and right. we could get itching with it one thing you will not usually see with allergies is a fever especially a high fever okay you're also very unlikely to see body aches or muscle aches so if you have any of that that's more of a sign of kind of a systemic immune reaction more likely of a virus or a bacterial infection and on the flip side you're less likely to see sneezing with upper respiratory tract infections now some of them can have sneezing um, but you're more likely to see kind of a more severe sore throat so some symptoms to tell the difference but really at the end of the day we usually need tests to tell us okay so yeah definitely trying to get a test instead of maybe trying to figure it out ourselves but if we're thinking neck up it might be more allergies now I feel like every year we kind of hear the season is going to be a bad one or uh, it's coming you know it's going to be about how do we know if it's going to be a good or a bad season for allergies? so you know what I do because I have a lot of seasonal allergies as I look on my Nine News app, yeah. and that tells you kind of pollen counts out there. So you can sort of prepare for that particular day okay. and sort of plan your outdoor activities around that specific day. But in general, we are seeing that pollen season has started coming earlier and earlier every year. Yeah. And that's part of that is the climate change that's been occurring. Mm -hmm. So we are seeing just more antigens or allergens in the air lasting for a longer season because of those changing climates. So even for some people who may not have had allergies before, we're starting to see them having some. Definitely. Okay, well that is something that I need to keep an eye on too because the pollen always gets me everywhere every year. Now let's talk uh, preventative versus preventative treatments versus how we can prevent exposure. Can you tell me about how to do these two? Yeah, so this is a trick that I do sometimes, especially when I go to the East Coast because the allergies there for me tend to be a little worse than they are here, okay. which is actually when I get inside, change my clothes oh. and put them in the wash right away. Okay. Yes, because <laughs> what we don't realize is that we're actually bringing a lot of those antigens into our home because they get stuck on, you know, on our clothes and they get stuck in our hair and what have you. So I'd like to just come in and sort of rinse everything off. Yes. And that's a nice way to avoid it. Now also in the summertime, it's nice to open up our windows in the spring. The more you open your windows, the more you're letting a lot of those allergens into your home. So right. if it's possible, especially on the days when the pollen counts are high or whatever you're allergic to is out there, try to keep those windows closed and really run the air conditioning instead. Okay. How about treatment when we are feeling those awful symptoms? Yeah, this is a tough one because, you know, in the past we really reached for things like antihistamines. Yes. That can be sedating. Those can sometimes take a little while to kick in. They can cause dry mouth and dry eye. That's usually what you have to do if you really, really want the definitive treatment. Sure. But something I've started leaning on a little bit more, particularly if you know there are going to be weeks when the antigen counts are high, is intranasal steroids. So oh. like Flonase or, you know, Rhinocort. Some of these are available over the counter. Yes. Of course, talk to your doctor before you start anything new. But it's just a squirt in the nose every day. And what it does is it kind of turns off the immune system a little bit in your nose so that it's less likely to overreact. Now the, the key to these medicines is that they don't kick in right away. Sure. So it usually takes a week or sometimes even two or three weeks before you start to see the benefit of it. So this is more of a kind of chronic maintenance medicine. In the acute setting, you want to use your Zyrtec, your Claritin, your Allegra, but try not to use the one that has the D in it because that has a decongestant okay. and that can raise your blood pressure and that can cause some more cardiovascular side effects. So just the regular antihistamine if you need it. And then of course, things like Afrin you can use as well, but that's, uh, you're not allowed to use that for more than three days. Okay, okay. So, so it works right away, but yeah. people people sometimes overuse it. Sure, definitely. Yeah. Well, I like the idea of using a Flonase, something like that, and then you don't have to feel like you're popping a pill as much as you can exactly. because you're so miserable. Well, Dr. Coley, thank you so much for helping us get through this allergy season. My pleasure.
Well, if you have a topic or question for Dr. Coley, message us on our Facebook page, Colorado and Company on 9 News. Your topic may just end up on the show.